Hi, today we're looking into how we can actually manage uh, our customers in SQL accounting. So before we begin, first of all, we need to make sure we create the chart of accounts here. So to do that, we go to GL, maintain account, and of course, we go to current asset. So right now, let's say for example, I already have a trade debtor control account right now, and I want to create another debtor control account for intercompany. So all I just need to do is select the header current asset, I press new so I just need to select account number so let's say for this example we put 301-000 then we put this is intercompany debtors so for it to be a control account we need to make sure that we select the special account type press customer control account then we just press ok so right now we can see we have a trade debtor we have intercompany debtors Alright, so once it's done, all we just need to do is close the screen. Then we come to customer here. We come to maintain customer. And from here, we can actually create a new customer. Alright, so to create new, we just press new. So let's say, example, we want to create a company called ABC Singapore Heart. So just now, remember, we actually create two different control accounts. So from here, we have one called control account. Then here we can select whether is this a trade debtor or is an intercompany debtor. So let's say for example, in this scenario we treat this as a trade debtor, we leave it here. Alright, so the system will automatically pick up the number 300, then A for the first letter of the customer, and then the number 0005 will be the fifth customer that starts with letter A. Alright, of course, uh, apart from here, we can also control our debtors by different customer categories. So in this example, we already have one called end user, we have reseller, or if we don't have any grouping, we can just leave it as default company category. If we want to create any new ones, all we just need to do is come here, there's a new function, click new, and we can create a new customer category, all right? So for this one, we will not create any more, so we close this one. All right, so apart from this, of course, SQL accounting allows us to actually have multiple addresses, so let's say example, this is the billing address. So we can just put here number number one, Jalan SS22 short two. Alright. So if there's a different address, we can always just press plus and this is say example warehouse P9. And then we can key in the P9 address. So you can see here, right? Every branch or every address will have its own attention person, phone number, mobile number, fax and email. Alright, so the important things that you would need to know that if you want to use SQL WhatsApp function, you must make sure that you actually key in the mobile number. If you are doing like mass emailing like statement of accounts or invoices, then we have to make sure that your email is correct. Alright. Alright, so apart from that, of course, once you actually key in all the particular details, we can see at the bottom here, we also actually have a different grouping for customers as well. So area will be usually like example for this one we have Petaling Jaya Singapore Subang Jaya. This is actually important is if you would like to generate reports by sales generated by a certain area. So some of our clients do Semenanjo Malaysia, uh, East Malaysia, or uh, say example by the state say uh, Petaling Jaya, Penang, Johor Bahru, Malacca. Right. So this is up to you how you want to create. Or we just again need to do is just press new to create the different areas all right if you do salesman control like say example commissions then agents critical for you each customer can be tagged to a particular salesperson all right and lastly we actually have currency here which allows us to actually create a customer in different currency a note for you everyone is that if, for example, a particular customer has Ringgit Malaysia and US dollar, they do uh, transactions in two different currency. What we always advise our client is we would need to create two different cards under the same name, but managed by different currency. Right? So let's say, example, this is Ringgit Malaysia, so we leave it at Ringgit Malaysia. Next, of course, we can set terms. We can always create more new terms if we need. All right? Okay, so that's for these controls. 
what happens is sometimes uh, our other customers will also use these functions to actually manage their customers. So things like statement of account. So how do you generate your statement of account? So when we say open item like this, so it means that any invoices that are outstanding will still appear on the statement of account. While a broad forward statement will be things like if there's an outstanding invoices of 10 invoices coming up to 10,000 ringgit from the previous month, we will just show a broad forward 10,000 ringgit. All right. Okay. And of course, if you do multi pricing, then price tag will be important for you. Okay. Apart from this, of course, um, SQL has one of the additional function would be under here notes. If you actually have the company registration new or old registration ID, what happens is SQL accounting will also have a CTOS check for you. So you just need to key in either the old uh, company ID or the new ID and you press CTOS check and the system will generate you a summary of the financial performance or the financial position that particular company is. All right, uh, this is actually free, but of course, uh, it won't give you 100% accurate data. It will give you a range. Means example, if your turnover is like 700,000, the CTOS check may give you like 500,000 to 1 million turnover instead of an exact figure of 700,000. So if you want that detail, then of course, you will need to subscribe to CTOS or you can actually call us up and then we will get our team to liaise with CTOS to set up that module for you. All right. So once all this setting is all done, all we just need to do is we just press save and all the information will be entered in the system. So like here, the system where you detect company ABCD is already in the system. Do you want to save this? If I say no, I can press no. I can say example, I can change this to currency, say example, US dollar. I save. Then I can say yes again. So what happens is if you look here, we have ABCD, we will have two different currency that they can work with. All right. Of course, when you want to generate your invoice, you have to make sure that you select the correct customer. Lah. All right. We hope that you find this guide useful. Do leave a comment below on topics you would like us to cover next. Thank you.